Okay, welcome to our second video in the series on how to create a CO2 drags on Onshape. Uh, what we're now going to do is we're now going to go over to our camera and render options menu and we're going to click shaded with hidden edges so we can see the hole that the, um, the CO2 canister is going to sit in. Now we're going to access our toolbar. So what we're going to now do is we're going to now do a sketch and we're going to sketch and determine the length of our car in this one so what in this video so what we do is we click on the sketch button and it's going to ask us to select a sketch plane so what we need to do is we need to hover over the side of the car the block and we're going to click on that and we'll notice here it says face of extrude one so that's telling me that i'm going to be doing some drawing on this face okay so what we're now going to do is on this bottom edge we're going to create a um, we're going to create what is called a construction point so we can determine the length of our car. So first step, we click on the construction button and that should go blue. And then we're going to click on point. And then once we're there, those two are blue, we're going to come down to this bottom edge and we're going to put a point and it doesn't matter where we put it anywhere on that line. And you should see a blue point come up. What we can now do is click out of that tool and we're now going to go across the toolbar to the dimension tool. And we're going to click on this, and this is going to allow us to determine how far this dot is from this back corner. So what we do is we click on the dimension tool, and now we need to click on the two separate ends. So first of all, I'm going to click on the blue dot. Then I'm going to click on the end, and what you'll see is you'll see this dimension information come up. It doesn't matter where we put it, but I'm just going to leave it there. We click on it with the left click, and it will then be highlighted so we can enter some information so i'm going to make my car 250 millimeters Oops. like that i'm going to make it 250 millimeters and i hit enter and we should see that dot move over to there so once we've done that we're now ready to start doing our the shape of our car and we'll go through that in the next video